this is my take on a white knight um, and this is my take on aloe. So for today we're going to be looking at the white knight. And the reason I decided to start developing my succulents was because of hearing that the new Pantone colour of the year is greenery. Now it's not quite either of these colours, maybe closer to this one. Um, it made me think that now was the perfect time to start developing my succulent offering. So I started with this, which is actually something that I am developing for a, potentially for a wedding order. Um, so this was based from one of the flowers in a picture that my customer sent me. This is based from the fresh flower in that picture. And then I thought to myself, that would look really great as a planner clip. So there is my planner clip version. You can see it's but it's a similar size to my sunflower and my daisy and um, it's going to look fab on a planner. In fact, I'll go and find one for you. So let's go with my funky glittery diary since my planner isn't really very exciting. That's on my want list is, is a Kiki K planner or something a bit prettier because I'm not really a purple girl. Anyway, so so this is how it's going to look on a planner. And what I thought I'd do is I would just take you through, I'm going to speed it up so it's what you'll see is going to be um, time lapse or speeded up to show you how I go from this to this. So what you're going to need is a glue gun, this is mine, it's a bit of a biggie. You're going to need a pair of sharp scissors. These were actually sold as felt cutting scissors and they're brilliant. They are precision felt or fabric scissors and mine are from Hemline. I ordered them from Cloudcraft um, and I've been using them for about a year and they're still lovely and sharp. I, I've got various pairs of scissors, these for example. Great for cutting paper, but I've blunted them or they were never sharp enough to use for felt. I try to only ever use these for felt so that hopefully I'm going to get the longest life out of them possible. So, sharp scissors, glue gun and some, some felt. This is um, a scrap of what I have left, 100% wool felt from Cloudcraft, who I get most of my felt from. Uh, in pistachio it's one millimeter thick and it's beautifully soft the great thing about using wool felt is that it doesn't pill um, and it doesn't fade and it doesn't go shiny this here is a flower made out of um, a wool mix I think it's about 20% wool and if it's I don't know how easy it is to show in the photograph but this is 100% wool which is what I use for all of my pieces and it's just got so much crisper edges than the daffodil here it's going fuzzy I don't know if you can see that in the video um, it doesn't form as well and it starts to go shiny it's this was great for testing and learning from but as soon as I discovered 100% wool felt I was never going back again I've got felt flowers made using 100% wool felt, here's one. And essentially, they still look the same now as they did when I first made them. One of the reasons I wanted to do this was I want to see how long it actually takes me to make one of these. So I'm gonna put a timer on my phone. Okay, so I've got my stopwatch ready to go on my phone, which I'm gonna put, actually we'll pop it there. Ah, one of the things that you are going to need also is a pencil. Now, I don't use a lead pencil because it, it tends to stay behind a bit too much on the felt. I use a coloured pencil that you're gonna be able to see and that um, and the, the coloured the colour is much easier to remove if there's a little bit left over 
uh, and doesn't bleed in the same way as lead I don't find. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the glue gun, mine has a little switch and then I'm going to cut a square of my oh, start of the timer, I'm going to cut a square of my felt from which I'm going to cut a circle That's going, to, that's going to be right in the centre. So the way that I've got the centre here to bulge in, the, in this way is by putting a felt ball in the centre. You can buy felt balls. Um, I have some here, some red ones. And I've got some more hopefully coming today. These are one centimetre wool felt balls. And then we're going to start drawing around our template. So I want three of my very smallest shape. That is, just to give you an idea of scale, that is just over a centimetre wide by about a centimetre and a half tall and I want three of those. So I'm going to draw one, two, and then we'll cut those out Now what I'm going to do is I am going to make the little ball for in the, for in the centre now my glue gun has heated up and for that what I'm going to use is some of the scraps from cutting it. So I'm going to pop a blob of glue in the centre the scraps on, if you can see that. And then shake that into a ball. Now I have a little ball. I'd say that is, yeah, it's about one centimetre in diameter, maybe slightly smaller, so that's going to be perfect for what I need. And then we're going to start adding our leaves. Now I'm going to stop talking because I'm timing myself and because I'm going to speed this video up so you won't be able to hear what I'm saying anyway.
So it took me just over 22 minutes to make one of these gorgeous succulent planner clips. Next job is to make some in some different colours and to scale this one down so that we have that, an, an aloe as an alternative. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click subscribe down there somewhere and I'll put um, links to the felt and the supplies that I used below as well. Bye.